Hello everyone, today's video is a Louis Vuitton bag reveal. I wanted to do a Louis Vuitton bag reveal and talk about my S'more 30. So here it is right here, you guys. If that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos. So today I wanted to talk about this lovely bag, my Louis Vuitton S'more 30. And I was on a hunt for this bag for a while and I was waiting to try to find one. Um, lately for the summer right now, now that more things are starting to open up and you know we're moving around a little bit more, I just didn't really wanna be bogged down still sometimes with such a heavy bag. And I've really been into cross bodies lately. And I had my eye on this particular bag because you could wear it as a crossbody. So you guys know the S'more is kind of like a saddle bag. And um, you've seen this bag a million times on other channels, but I wanted to still discuss mine because mine is special to me. So basically I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and picked one that had, you know, pretty good um, vachetta. So the vachetta on this one is, you know, lightly colored. It's not too, too patina it's not too heavily patina and you know normally with my vintage louis vuitton bags i do go ahead and the only thing i do to them is just a little bit of apple conditioner um, and that does darken the patina just a little bit it darkens the vachetta um, leather just a little bit more so i you know i wanted to make sure that i got one that the patina wasn't very heavy or honey colored yet. So I am very happy with this one that, you know, the patina isn't very dark or anything, you know, yet. And with time, I also like when I buy a pre-loved Louis Vuitton bag, I like when it patinas, you know, even if it, obviously if it's a vintage Louis Vuitton bag, it's pre-owned, but I like when the patina process starts a little bit more with me as the owner. So that was another reason why I ended up going ahead and deciding to pick this one right here because I have plenty of time to wear and enjoy this bag over the summer. And as I do, it'll, you know, the, it'll darken eventually and patina a little bit more to that more honey color. Um, but what I like about it is the fact that it is a smaller crossbody because initially when I set out to get this some more bag, I wanted the... 35. You guys know this bag comes in several sizes. I believe that it comes in at least two or three sizes. I know the, another, the larger size that I was looking at was the size 35. So and you, I know me, you guys know me, your girl. I wanted the 35. I wanted the larger one. Um, I like the speedy 35. I always tend to go for the bigger size 35. So with this, it was no different. I wanted the size 35. However, luckily for me, I ended up saying, you know what, I think the 30 is a little bit better. And after watching other videos and learning more about the 30 and the 35, I ended up saying, you know what, for me, I'm going to need the 30. Even though I knew that 35 was so, so large, I still thought maybe the 30 was going to be a little too small for me. And thankfully, when this baby arrived, it's a nice size bag. It's not as big as I thought it was. It's like a purse. It's a purse size bag. It's not too over big. I thought the 30 might be too small. And then I realized the 35 was going to be too big. But anyway, enough of that with the sizes. So I'm so happy that I ended up going with the 30. And this is it right here. And you guys know you get that double pouch, double flap with the some more, like a saddle bag. And the front of the bag, the Louis Vuitton is the right way. It's, you know, the LVs are the right way. And just like with any other bag, with the one con continuous piece of canvas, the back of the bag, the rear part of the bag, the LV is upside down on the flap. Let me go ahead and open this up so that I, we could talk a little bit more about that. So you can see right here, this is the front of the bag right here. And you see the LVs are the correct way. And then the back of the bag, it's upside down. And that's because the LVs are one continuous piece of canvas. And I hope I'm showing you that the right way. Maybe I should have showed it to you this way because you know I'm in the camera and stuff is backwards. So let me go ahead and show it to you this way. Maybe, maybe we'll do it this way. So here it is when they're upside down. And if you look at it this way, the LVs, it's it's all, there you go, it's all one continuous piece of canvas. I also noticed online that a few of the bags were missing studs. 
like there's a rivet here and a rivet here and rivets there um rivets you know on the bag there's also this is how it attaches by the side so when you want to go ahead you know you can always go ahead and open this up let me go ahead and open this up so i can show you guys some more of the bag so this is what the when you open both sides of the flap it looks like that and i noticed online that a lot of the bags had rivets missing like this middle rivet, rivet would be missing or one of the end rivets would be missing so i wanted to make sure that i got one where you know it had all the rivets and everything on the bag was okay and you know i was able to go ahead and off my checklist of things that i wanted and you know this one had all the rivets pretty much basically when i'm buying a pre-loved bag that's what i do i kind of create a checklist for myself in my own head and i think about okay vachetta the color of the patina i want to make sure i get one that's clean interior with no odors i want to make sure i get one that you know has obviously i don't want a cracked bag i don't want a bag that has sh cracking on the vachetta you know and because they are pre-loved sometimes you may get a little bit of cracking here or there but nothing serious and this one right here was made in france and there's the tag right there for it so so pretty and let me show you the interior pockets i have it stuffed so let me go ahead and take the stuffing out but i'm so happy about this bag because i wanted a crossbody bag so i could be more hands-free and excuse me i have a couple of um louis vuitton bags that are you know toads and, and satchels but i wanted a few more crossbody vintage Louis Vuitton bags in my collection. A few more crossbody vintage Louis Vuittons. And then that way I could just sling them across me. And if I'm at a fest or if I go out to an activity um, during the summer months, you know, I'll be fine wearing my bag, you know, and it won't, I won't be bogged down and it won't be too heavy. So this is the front right here. And the front, with the front, you only get the interior pocket. And I don't know if you're gonna, okay, you can see in there. It's so nice and clean in there that's the front and then with the back with the back you get an extra pocket you guys so this is the back side of the bag and you get with the back side you get that main pocket right there and then you see you get one additional pocket right there so you have two two little compartments in the rear in the back part of the bag but i love this now i know that um some people aren't a fan of this bag because the issue is that when you want to go in and when you want to go in and out of your bag, this can hinder you if it's if it's you know if you have the buckle closed, you know, and you're trying to get to something really quickly, it's, there's not like any exterior pockets and it's not a tote. You can't just push your hand in, in down in the bag and get something out like your wallet or your debit card or your keys or if you have your cell phone in your bag and it's ringing and it's you know buckled up, now you can't get to your cell phone right away and answer it. I know that, you know, that is a flaw, or not a flaw, but a downside, a minus, a negative of the bag that some people don't like, that, you know, it's buckled closed, the buckled closure, making it, you know, not as easy to access the bag. That for me, I'm not too worried about it. You know, when I'm when I know I'm gonna be somewhere where I want to access it quickly, I just won't buckle it. And for security reasons, you know, just be careful if you're, you know, if I'm in a store or something, you know, I'm not trying to be that close up to anybody where anybody will be able to get their hand down in my bag. But um, but yeah, I'm just you know addressing some of the concerns that I know have been, you know, concerns about this bag for years. But for, you know, for me, I think it's going to serve all my purposes. I, I love the fact that it's going to be an easy crossbody that I could just throw across me and go. It's such a cute bag. It looks so cute, you know, crossbody around you. And it can hold a lot. Even though it's a little crossbody doesn't get too heavy and it looks so cute cute crossbody it doesn't bog you down and weigh you down and then in the rear part of the bag i can just go ahead and put um this is the back in the front but in the rear part of the bag i can you know i can put the items that i want to access quickly in the front and then i could just 
the, the, the uh, items that I'm not going to get to or that I don't need to get to right away. I could put them in the back and just buckle it closed. But I could see this baby sitting in the seat next to me in my passenger seat as I'm driving. I love looking over at my bag, you guys. I know you guys do that too. You put your lovely bag in the passenger seat and then, you know, with your sunglasses and your little Starbucks drink, your little Starbucks coffee and everything. And then when you're driving, you can just look over and glance at your pretty bag. So I'm looking so forward at putting this little baby in the passenger seat and taking a ride, taking a spin with her and just enjoying her. And I'm looking forward to just wearing her during the summer months. Another thing that I like about this uh, some more bag is the strap. The strap is adjustable and it also has, it also has this extra, the extra little, uh, pull right here, this extra little tab where, you know, the, this piece that won't be just sticking out, you know, you can go ahead and secure it like that. And then it's adjustable. So you can wear it on different settings. That's really good. And then I like the fact that it comes with the shoulder comfort pad with this shoulder pad, um, the comfort strap or the comfort pad on the shoulder. And I know my Louis Vuitton Balone has this pad as well. And it really does help when you put the bag across you so that that strap doesn't dig into your neck. You know, this part of this comfort strap really does help with that. And not that I'm going to be stuffing this bag that heavy anyway, but still it's, it's a plus that it has that comfort strap. Another thing is that sometimes this comfort strap will be cracked because they are older bags. Sometimes you'll get one of these Louis Vuitton vintage bags and the comfort strap under the bottom here will be cracked and this one isn't cracked or anything. So that's good. You know, the vinyl rubber part of the comfort strap is still good. And then here's the back of it. And even when you move it along, because sometimes when you get a vintage Louis Vuitton bag, the area where the strap has rested for so many years will have darkened and you'll have to clean it. But you could look and see, let me try to move it for you guys. You can see, you know, it's a little lighter where where it's been the part that it covered or was uncovered is a little bit how do, what am i trying to say the area that was covered or uncovered is you see there's a little lighter here and a little lighter and this is a little darker but it's not dirt it's not you know it's not sometimes you get them and they're you know they show real dirt right there a sign of dirt isn't it's a little darker but you know nothing serious and on camera i could see it with my light it's picking it up but actually when i look at it personally here i can't even notice it in the light i can only see it on camera you guys know the camera when you uh it picks up everything it's the camera shows everything all the details up sometimes things you can't even see in person you'll be able to see on camera when you're looking at a bag so that actually is a good thing because then it's like a micro uh, microscope you know it's very magnifying and it can see every detail of the bag so yeah you guys i'm so so happy to have this louis vuitton some more bag in my collection and i'm looking so forward to wearing it during the uh, summer months and just you know enjoying this lovely bag so thank you for joining me for my louis vuitton some more bag reveal i hope you enjoyed this video Stay tuned to my channel for more Louis Vuitton bags and more Louis Vuitton uh, reveals and unboxings. And I'll see you again soon in another video.